Hello everyone, welcome to Silver Lake Honey Channel. Uh, today I'm showing you a um, few different methods how to use uh, jar feeders. We all know that bees need sometimes a little bit help with feeding them or watering in the hot summer. So using this mason jars feeder, uh, there are of course some disadvantages but uh, mostly uh, it's very cl uh, clean and hygienic way to, uh, to give them water or, or sugar water. Um, bees don't drown inside the, like, like the inside feeders. And uh, it's really very convenient and you can see through how much they use them. You can refill them very, very, very easy. So many beekeepers, especially uh, beginning beekeepers use this entrance uh, jar feeder. You'll buy uh, this from the store. It comes with the lid uh, and holes and also uh, this plastic uh, thing that you put the feeder on and then you slide in your entrance. Uh, there are several uh, reasons that I don't like these feeders. Uh, one of them is, especially now, is late July, it's uh, late summer and there's uh, nectar flow slowing down so the bees will try to find the sources of food everywhere. So they will come to your hive and this will create robbing. So I wouldn't recommend uh, this. Also another, uh, uh, if you want to water, uh, give water to bees, uh, you're restricted to only one jar and you're restricting your entrance too. So, uh, this way, I mean, another another thing is you have to buy this from the store and you have these mason jars, I'm sure, laying everywhere. You can make one yourself, so why paying for something that you don't have to pay? So, the way you can do it yourself is to take a, to take a small nail and then make eight to ten small holes uh, in the middle of the lid. and. That's basically the same thing as this that you purchase. So make few holes on your lid, screw the, your jar, uh, and then and then you can uh, put a couple of, of sticks to have a space like this. Invert the sugar water or sugar syrup or water, and then place on top of the sticks so the bees would come and feed. And then use empty box to close this in the hive. So this way, uh, bees can defend this feeder. And you know when they when the rubber bees come, they will defend their entrance. You can you know also put uh, reduce the entrance and have bees uh, fight you know for their hive. You know it will be a lot easier for them instead of having the syrup, sugar syrup outside. So bees need a lot of water during during summer, and um, I would recommend. Uh, so this is uh, one method of doing this inside the hive. You can put sugar, syrup, or water. Another method is to use a cloth, you know. Uh, you can use paint uh, strainers or old t-shirt or something like that. And then uh, put your sugar syrup or water. And then use a rubber band. So when you Invert this, this will uh, be a, a, a vacuum and bees will, you know, uh, lick, you know, this cloth and that way take the sugar syrup or water to their hive. You can uh, place this, like have multiple uh, of these feeders uh, around, you know, you don't have to have it close to your beehive, you can have it away and that way you will not have rubber, rubber bees coming to your hive will be away from the hive. 
So the third method I'm gonna show you uh, requires using a grinder. So we're gonna make some uh, grinds a little bit from the edge, and then I'll show you how to do that. Really uh, of course, always use safety when uh, using grinder or any power equipment. So, uh, so we're just gonna make. Okay, so make, I don't know, six to eight with this little uh, so fill your water or sugar syrup and then like a, I use this porcelain plate that has this edge so the bees it's a, like a landing board and, and bees don't make this water uh, dirty so I place place it on top of the jar like this and then invert it and so this creates a, a vacuum and water will not go out so when bees take it it will slowly release through this little uh, dents that we made in the lid so bees will go around around this and take either sugar water or or water and this will not going to be dirty it will be very clean clean and you can see how much they use it easily replace the jar refill it and you can place it away from the hive and you can use mo multiple feeders to feed at one time or water to water them at the, at the same time so it's a lot a lot uh, better than using this entrance that you they will always stuck in one place and creates rot. So but you can also use this inside on top of the frames. So I, I, ho I hope uh, this tip helps you and thank you very much for watching and following us. Wish you all the best, happy beekeeping and a good season.